Do you think people are going to get bored with that? You drinking beer? <laughs> At the beginning of the thing. Welcome what to it's Mike's. All about is you being drinking beer. Welcome to Mike's beer channel on YouTube. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's just I always start with me drinking, and there's never since like the '90s been Coors Light in this cup. Just saying. Of course, I didn't get this cup before I was 21. Of course. Of course. Anyhow, today we are trying German beers. Guten Tag. It's good afternoon, German. See. Si. <laughs> How would be Spanish? See. Si. Anyhow, we've got two German beers today. We're going to start with Koenig Ludwig Weiser Beer. Ludwig. Ludwig. Yes, That's w right. Like w is a v. Royal Bavarian Hefferweizen. <laughs> Weizen. Hefferweizen. Whatever. Now, the two beers we're trying there, uh, I don't know if anyone knows this, but Germany has these purity laws. Which, like the ingredients, this are water, wheat malt, barley malt, hop extract, and yeast. That's the only thing you're allowed to have in true German beer. So it actually has like a disclaimer on the label It has a there. disclaimer. So those of you drinking Beck's, which is actually brewed in St. Louis, in a giant brewery where they make Anheuser-Busch products, that's not a true German beer. Naturally cloudy wheat beer. Brewed. And it says right on there. Brewed according to the Bavarian purity law. Now, outside of Bavaria, you can do whatever you want. So, I guess Bex could actually be German beer, except it's brewed in St. Louis. <laughs> St. Louis isn't in Germany. Wouldn't St. Louis be French? St. Louis? C. Si. We. Oui. See, si, Okay, French. let's pour it. It's definitely cloudy. They weren't kidding when they said naturally cloudy. This is when Very you light. About your urine test again, isn't it? No, my my urine oh, looked like. Oh, good lord! Urine looked like that. You'd be dead. Very foamy. It's very hazy. Can I talk about the color of the bottle again? It matches the it color of the indeed. bottle again. <laughs> okay. Now this is a traditional Hefeweizen. Weizen. Hef Hefeweizen, because there's no R in Hef. <laughs> it's H E F E Hef. You said R. Okay. If you're looking for well-produced <laughs> videos here, it's not going to happen. I'm doing this on my phone. I'm doing it on my phone on purpose. I don't care. If you don't like videos, don't. But if you do, subscribe and like. So. Share it with your friends. And this also, a lot of people think German beer is all this, has to be this high alcohol content. It's not. Mm, it's this is 5.5% like alcohol. Weedy. Weedy? Weedy, flowery, weedy. I mean, well, it's a wheat beer, right? Hefweizen is... Hefweizen. Ooh. Some toast. Ooh, that's got some bitterness. Do you don't taste the flowery, like a weedy flower kind of thing going on? There's probably some technical term that goes along with that. Well, wheat's flour, or they make flour out of wheat. Wow, this is kind of bitter. Hmm. I mean, I like the cloudy because it shows they haven't over-filtered it or anything. Of course, I'm not sure how safe it is to drink a beer that got shipped in a container ship across the ocean to a place that keeps it on a shelf that's not refrigerated, but... <laughs> Where else are you going to get... How else are you going to get German beer? I don't think you can get someone to ship it to you in an ice pack. Don't you know someone in Germany? <laughs> I do. We'll look, we'll look into the legalities of that. I think you probably do drink German beer warm. No, most German beer is actually, like... It's not as cold as we keep it. Which we would call warm. I, I, fine, I guess we would call warm. Yeah. The next one is... Hacker Sihor? <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Hacker Sihor. That's how I pronounce that. Somebody uh, please correct him because there's no Y in that word. Okay, Hacker... Score? Score. Weiss. It's a traditional wheat beer. It's also brewed according to the German law of purity. And it is... It's brewed in Munich. Where's the alcohol content? 5.5, the same as the last one. So let's see. And apparently, you need a bottle opener. 
if you go to Germany to drink beer. See, we're Americans. We're used to twist tops. Okay. Lazy. This is... Wow. Could this look any more the same? I think it might be a little dark, but it's, it's also cloudy. Darker. Holy cow, look at the head you can get out of it, though. <laughs> I think it's darker. Oh, wow. Never mind. I guess it is darker. Thank you. Danka. Danka. Shay. Shane. Shane. Dr. Shane. Who's Shane? Good lord. You say Bitta. Danka Bitta. What's your last name? Is it German? Fleur. There's actually a city in Germany that has my name as a spelling. Mm -hmm. In Ville after it, I believe. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is. Did you taste it this yet? Hmm. Oh, this is smooth? Wow. I think we have this at Epcot. I think we had this at Epcot before. Well, I remember going to Germany in Epcot uh -huh. and drinking a $9 beer. I don't remember what $9 beer it was. I think this is it. But I have to be honest. Or maybe it was just a heifer. heifer. No, I'm saying heifer. It's not a cow. It's a beer. A Hefeweizen. I could drink a bunch Heifer. of these. Heifer. What's it called? Oh, I don't. I'm going to have to look back, but... I see a comparison coming up because I think this beer we might have to have a uh, this beer might have to have a competition against the best beer I've ever the best German beer I've ever drank because this is pretty good. What was the best beer, German beer you ever drank? I'd have to look in the book. Oh, I don't remember. I can't uh -oh. pronounce it. Oh, it's that. But it'll be coming up in a video soon. <laughs> oh yeah, I could drink a ton of these. It's got some good, it's got a little bit of, uh, I taste hop. It's got a little bit of bitterness. Not a lot, just a little. It's got a clean finish. I don't have a, I don't have like an aftertaste. No, not really. It finishes clean. It's not clean. as weedy yeasty as the other one is. And it's not as weedy yeasty as this, like. Ew. Ugh. There's stuff floating around in my glass. You probably can't see that. It's because it's unfiltered. Well, yeah, I know, but it's still kind of gross looking. It might be kind of gross looking. I'm an American. Okay. So. It tastes better now that it's warmer. I this think that would make a one. difference. <laughs> this was the second one. Yeah. Okay, this is the one we're drinking that I like. No, I'm sorry. Nope, that one. Was the second one. Oh, yeah. Hackers. Yeah. Okay. The cypher that you called it. Koenig Ludwig. 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 Weissenbeer is okay. But mm, it's a little too bitter, I think. I think it was better when it was a little bit warmer when I just finished mine. So we need to try this warm. I don't believe in warm beer. I'm sorry. We used the wrong glasses. We're going to use it the wrong temperature. It wasn't warm. Too. It was just not as cold. Anyhow, this could possibly be the best German beer I've ever drank. We're going to have to go back to get the best German beer I ever drank, which was, oh, it was Erdinger Weidbier, Weidbier which scored a 94. This... I might score the same, because this is really good. Who's the guy on the label? What does it say? That is, uh... It does. <laughs> and what does it say? It says I need to go and get new contact lenses, because I can't tell. It says something Richter. Richter? The core? <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. If someone can tell me what that says... Focus, focus, focus. Anyhow, again, I shoot this on my phone. I'm not a professional videographer. I'm just a guy who likes to drink beer. 
You add an extra syllable in that word. I add an extra syllable to a lot of words. Yes, Anyhow, you do. This is really good. Now, I imagine a six pack of this would probably cost about $14 because I doubt they're going to have it. Anyhow, I like this. This beer will be back on our uh, Mike's YouTube channel event, beer channel, because I think it's going to go against the last German beer that I said was the best German beer I've ever drank because it's time to do a showdown. Anyhow. This is where he tells you to like and subscribe and share with your friends. Yes. I don't even know if I'm pointing in the right places. Like, subscribe. I don't know. Comment. Like, stuff. subscribe, comment. If there's a beer you'd like to try, have me try, let me know. If they sell it at Total Wine in Florida, I'm in. As long as it's not one of those beers that's like $5.49 for a single bottle. Because that's ridiculous. I don't know if he's kidding. He'll try to convince me anyway. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.